You're, you're, you're breathtaking. You're all breathtaking. Cyberpunk 2077 has one of the most beautiful open worlds we have seen so far from the reveals. And with the beauty of the Night City comes new easter eggs and hidden secrets that seems to have already been planned for before CDPR even started fully developing Cyberpunk back in the days. Hey what's going on folks my name is Blackwoods and welcome back to another Cyberpunk 2077 video and here on this channel we'll be covering everything related to Cyberpunk and Days Gone and a few other sidekick games that I might be interested in. So speaking of the easter egg and hidden secrets in the world of Cyberpunk we have come to know that one of the main characters from the Witcher 3 Wild Hunt series is apparently going to be making a return in the all new Cyberpunk. How is that possible you may ask? Well, in one of the cutscenes from Witcher 3 where Geralt of Rivia speaks to Ciri, gets to know about this whole new world that Ciri visits when exploring while she was running away from the enemies in the current Witcher world. Ciri manages to run from one world to another using her time travel and teleportation spell which is apparently one of her special abilities and apparently Ciri claims to have made her stay in the world of Cyberpunk 2077 where she explains Geralt about this strange world where people had metals in their head and had flying cars and not just that. They were also able to attack enemies from distance without even engaging in a hand to hand combat. Which to me kind of seems like what we have seen with Cyberpunk so far. And she also says that she made her stay in the world for a long time. That she wished to never leave the future world behind. Siri also states that she had been to many different worlds in her journey. But CD Projekt Red only decides to let her speak about this one specific world. That pretty much seems like what we have seen in Cyberpunk 2077. Apparently there was some kind of portal which led Siri to get to the world of Night City. And she made her stay in the world for perhaps half an year until Erdin finally found her. The world where Erdin couldn't find you. What was it like? You wouldn't believe me if I told you. Try me. People there had metal in their heads. Waged war from a distance. Using things similar to megascopes. And there were no horses. Everyone had their own flying ship instead. Siri, stop fooling around. Told you you wouldn't believe me. <sighs> we should have stayed though. In this particular dialogue she mentions that there were no horses and people used flying ships instead and is exactly what we have seen with the world of cyberpunk. As Siri mentions people had metal in their head also pretty much confirms that we have seen this in the world of cyberpunk where body modifications were one of the most trending things to do. She also explains about the weapons people used in that world which looked more like a megascope which I believe are the guns with scopes is what she's trying to explain. So it seems like CD Projekt Red had all the future plans for Cyberpunk pretty much planned before even starting the making of the actual game. And maybe we could get to see some kind of easter eggs about the Witcher world and Ciri in Cyberpunk and maybe we could even get to meet her in person and solve some mysteries together. But let me tell you what, don't get your hopes very high yet because the CD Projekt Red studio head Adam Podolsky, I don't know if I spelled it right or not so don't really hate me in the comment section down below so. So he had made a statement regarding the reference shown in The Witcher 3 that was made with the world of cyberpunk. So to quote him he said this, we are not kingdom hearts and we are not jumping universes and I know that there are a lot of fans on the team and they would love to have Siri in the game but I am completely against this. So it does seem pretty clear that he is not very happy with adding Siri into cyberpunk but he never said that she will not have an appearance or even a reference in the game which makes me wonder if this might be some kind of a small easter egg or a secret reference that you might find while playing cyberpunk and you might not actually get to meet or play as Siri or even do any kind of side missions related to her at all. And if you ask me I don't really see any major harm in getting to know about Siri's easter 
drag in the game and in fact that will be a really cool thing if we get to see her or even hear about her from any random NPCs talking about a white haired girl disappearing into the thin air. Well, let me know what you guys think about this. Do you think adding Siri or even a Easter egg about her in Cyberpunk would be a good idea or not? Maybe the developers could read your comments and know for a fact that we want to see Siri in the game and could possibly reconsider adding at least an Easter egg about it in Cyberpunk 2077. With that being said, if you guys want to win a free pre-order copy of Cyberpunk 2077 Standard Edition with a platform of your own choice, then make sure to check out the Glam giveaway link down below in the description and I will be picking random winners from my subscribers list and will send you guys the game code before the game drops in on 16th of April 2020. With that being said, if you guys want to see more cyberpunk content like these on this channel, then please do feel free to drop a like and feedback in the comments down below. And I've got much more cyberpunk content lining up to be uploaded. And the best way to watch them is of course by subscribing to this channel and turning on the notifications so that you folks never miss out on any future upcoming videos. And with that being said, I hope you guys have a one blast of a day and I'll see you all on the next one. Until then, stay safe and stay hyped and peace the bananas out.